we don't want much. We just want a little bit more to help compensate for inflation. It is week seven in the strike against Eaton Aerospace and workers on the picket line say they are not giving in anytime soon. Good evening. I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Even as the weeks ahead get colder, picketers say they will continue to strike until they reach an agreement with Eaton Aerospace. News 10's Isley Herschel here in studio now with more on how they are handling the strike. Hi, Hi Ann and David. Even though some of the picketers are only there once or twice a week, it's starting to take a toll on them. They're not making their full paychecks, meaning they have to cut corners, but they're still keeping a positive mindset. We've been out here 42 days now. 42 days on strike, with the end not as close as they've hoped. The most recent offer was just almost identical to the offer before that, um, and that's not what the membership was looking for. There have been two contracts offered by Eden Aerospace, both of which were rejected. The two sides are currently not at the bargaining table. Members say they rejected the most recent offers because the wage increases were not enough to offset the freeze in pensions and the cost of rising insurance. Obviously, it's very stressful, and I'm, you know, very concerned for my membership. It impacts us a lot, um, you know, going from having um, good paychecks, and then all of a sudden now it's, you know, we had to cut back a lot. Matt Strobel has worked for Eden Aerospace for 17 years and has had to cut back on spending due to the strike. No more nice weekends out to eat and be able to go stuff with your families. Family members of picketers, including Matt's wife, have stepped up to support them during this time. She has stepped up more than you know to help pay for our stuff. And uh, it hurts, you know, because now I'm not the main, the main provider, you know. Another support system for them, the Jackson community. It's just, it's been crazy. Um, people driving by honking, waving, dropping off water, dropping off pizzas. It's a good feeling to know that you're supported uh, in your efforts. Eden Aerospace sent us a comment which states in part, we remain committed to getting our employees back to work and have work available. Eden Aerospace also says they want to reach an agreement with the UAW, but feel their contracts offered are in line with their goals with retaining skilled workers. All right, Ashley, thank you. Some clouds moving into mid-Michigan.